Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are taking a look at two of the young hungry lions in the IFBB Open class. This is Nick Walker from the 2021 Mr. Olympia event, and just last night's Puerto Rico Pro winning version of Hassan Mustafa. The Mutant versus the Colonel. What a matchup, what a matchup. A lot of people are talking, and there's a lot of talk about this new breed of Aesthetically pleasing bodybuilders, the Samson Dautas, the Rafa Brandeos, the things of that nature. But one would be remiss to ignore the dominance of these thickly, well-developed, just muscle horse men. These big, thick muscle horse men. So, with the, uh, with the good big win last night for uh, Hassan Mustafa... It might be his best version yet. So I thought it would be very interesting and something that a lot of you guys would actually enjoy would be to compare these two beasts because they are both heading towards that. Mr. Olympia, they're on the road. They're on the road. Once you win that pro show, you are on the road to the Olympia. Excitement, excitement. Now who wins? I always wanted to do a comparison with these two, but there wasn't really a... A good, solid, winning version of Hassan till now. Well, it looks like Nick Walker is a little bit more dominant here in the front double. That's one pose, though, guys. Don't write this off yet. Sizing is difficult, of course. Now, Nick Walker's maybe maybe a half inch shorter. Maybe a half inch shorter than uh, Hassan Mustafa. But Hassan, you well notice... He goes straight-legged, so I could even made him a little bit bigger. But having said that, come on, guys. Nick Walker, look at those arms. Hassan is improved, but I mean, come on. Front lat spread. This is a different story. This is a different story. Hassan has a, uh, a better V-taper. A sm Hassan, that's right, guys. Hassan Mustafa has a smaller waistline. Because he's going against Nick Walker. And that's no disrespect on you, Nick. That's just a, you know, guy has a small waist, you notice it, you mention it. He has a big waist, you notice it, you mention it. Nick Walker also has maybe thinner skin when you look at the wheels. More separation anyway. More separation anyway. I don't know if he has thinner skin. But yeah, tie game heading out of the first two shots, and I love that. Side chest development. I like how Walker is opened up more. He's showing his chest more. But when you look at who has the thicker, bigger, thicker chest, you got to look at the far pack, things of that nature. And Hassan does. Who has the bigger, thicker arm? Hassan does. Nick has a smaller waistline. Nick has a smaller waistline from the side. Not from the front, but from the side. He does, in fact. Which has nothing to do with your genetics, really. It has to do with how much food you're putting in there. And I guess your muscles, your ab muscles. Of course, they both are thickly developed everywhere. When you look at the wheels, I'm going with Hassan Mustafa. I always love how he just dwarfs anybody in the arm region in this shot. And this time he is peeled in the wheels. Unbelievable. Side tricep. I never really liked this version of Hassan in the side tricep. And realistically, guys, let's face it, Nick Walker, he looks outstanding in this one. So one would be, uh, if I if I was Hassan, hoo I would generally go for a hoo-ha. I would first hit it, then I would hit the spec side tricep, and then I would finish off with the hoo-ha as well. Because in this shot, he is defeating Nick Walker. Look at those wheels. Now, I like when he was doing the feathering in the, uh, in the side tricep, but here, this is a, a perfect uh, chance. For Hassan to do a side-by-side -side of those quads to show the dominance that he has against Nick Walker. So side tricep, Walker, hua, definitely Hassan. Turn around, and I honestly don't know why I do this. This rear lat spread of Nick Walker, it's a terrible pitcher. Having said that, it was not his best pose. A guy like Ian Valier was defeating, defeating him in this shot at the Olympia. It just... I don't know. He's, his lat kinks up or something of that nature. And it's not a good pitcher anyway. It's pan back. So don't know why I even show it. 
Hassan wins. Go to the rear double. And I often say Nick Walker has the best rear double bicep in the IFBB today. And nobody really says that about Hassan Mustafa. Or even really talks about how good his rear double bicep is. So in that sense, this should be a blowout victory for Walker. And when you look, it is. And when you're dealing with a a back that anybody says is the best in the IFBB today. As far as this shot is concerned, it has to be... It has to be a dominant victory. And man, oh man, that it is. That it is. Now, condition-wise... That's where Hassan can lose this one altogether. I think he is pretty conditioned, to be honest with you. Dan, I I think his glutes have never been this tight. But having said that, I I, I still think Walker might be a little bit more conditioned. The abs and thigh shot. And this is one of those pan back pitchers of Walker. Don't like it. Don't like to use them. Generally, his abs and thigh looks good. But here at the Olympia, I think his midsection was a slight bit full. He had one too many pizza pies and then some real pies. Strawberry cherry, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Hassan, I guess he has a thicker midsection too. So (laughs) finish this one off. The most muscular, hands clasped. I like Walker. He's bigger. He's thicker. He looks bigger anyway. Hard to imagine anybody thicker than Hassan Mustafa. Look at how thick his legs are. From what you can see, couldn't see the full body in this picture, unfortunately. Go to the crab position, most muscular. And you couldn't see the full body in this one either, but I slipped in a little uh, camera trickery there. That's Hassan's calves from another shot. Another shot. He was almost hitting the most muscular. But anyway, for some reason, they didn't show his calves in this, which are huge, by the way. Both men, huge calves. Hassan maybe even bigger in that sense. Depending on the shot, he looks like he's more ripped, more peeled than Nick Walker. I think he's taking Nick Walker in this crab position. I think beyond the shadow of a doubt. And if you were to just see this pose, you would say for sure, for sure, Hassan's winning this matchup. He has the same size, maybe even bigger. Well, realistically, he's more ripped, so it looks bigger. So I think they're the exact same size here in the upper body anyway. And much more ripped, more peeled for Hassan Mustafa. So he wins? Well, not really, guys. Nick Walker is the dominant man in this matchup. I mean, it's all about levels. His bodybuilding. There was a few shots went to this guy. A few shots went to that guy. But when you look at that rear double bicep, there can be no doubt. Walker was not only dominant in that shot, but it showed that he was probably in better condition hamstrings, glutes, lower back, things of that nature. Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up on the video. Let me know who you think could win this one. I think Hassan, if he did get dried out a little bit more, would be more of a matchup. Gotta get some more meat on that back, though. Hit thumbs up, subscribe. Have a good day.